Welcome back to another episode of The Shack Show. And in this episode of The Shack Show, we're gonna be talking about my favorite spring plug, the Rebel Jumping Mill. Okay, as you guys have probably seen, this is gonna be a little bit different of a Shack Show video. This is gonna be a little bit more highly edited and hopefully you guys enjoy this a little bit better. Uh, please let me know in the uh, comments below if you like this little bit more uh, edited version of the Shack Show. So I wanted to talk about why I think Rebel Jumping Minnows are probably some of my favorite plugs uh, that I've ever personally used. The Rebel Jumping Minnow is, for those of you who don't know, a small spook that has an action of it working back and forth across the surface of the water. Uh, I fish them, you know, pretty much the entire season, but in the spring and fall especially, are there two times a year that they fish the best. Uh, Rebel Jumping Minnows come in many different colors, uh, and I like the bone color the best. Uh, I think that this color just tends to uh, be the best when uh, it comes to topwater plugs in general. Yellow over white's also a big favorite of mine, but bone is definitely up there for one of my favorite of all times. So the greatest thing about this plug is it just catches really big fish. I've caught so many very, very large bass on it. Uh, whether it was during the fall or during the spring, they just produce. There's something about the action of this plug, the size, the profile, that it gets those bass really frothed up to hit it. Uh, I've had unbelievable days during sand deal blitzes. I've had unbelievable days during peanut bunker blitzes. You know, and one of my favorite places to fish this is in estuaries, back bays, and areas like that where you can have a slower working action on the surface of the water and those bass will come up and crush it within shallow water. You can almost see them wake up behind it and hit it. That's one of my favorite kind of uh, times to fish when you have shallow water. Even if there's some current, uh, if you have this shallow water and you can watch very calm shallow water, you can watch those bass, you know, like a missile coming at the plug. That's one of my favorite ways to fish uh, these. You can just see them, you know, following right behind it, uh, waking on it. It's just, there's nothing better than that. It has a great seductive action on the surface of the water that just gets these bass to hit, even if they're being really finicky. Uh, and that's a reason why I love using them. Uh, if the bass are finicky, it tends to get them to eat. It is a smaller profile. It's not very intimidating. You'll catch bass from very, very small to very, very large on this plug. Uh, I found that it works great when the water is super warm. Uh, using a smaller profile this summer, uh, it was a very productive lure just because I was using it during the summer and uh, it was one of those top producers, especially for those bigger bass during the day. Uh, I was catching bass from 35 to 45 inches on it and you know it's a pretty amazing that a four inch plug like this will get bass that are that big to come up and hit it. It's just one of the best spooks on the market even though it is almost like a freshwater spook, it's so small. Uh, it has a fairly good casting distance. Uh, I like to work it by just twitching either the top of my rod to the side or straight up and down almost like a pencil popper but just a little bit slower. Uh, it gives it that action where it walks back and forth across the surface of the water and the bass just go absolutely nuts for it. 
which is always fun. I remember this spring, I was fishing a spot on the same beach and there was a lot of sand eels, a lot of sand eels around, the bass were blitzing on them. And that profile of bait is very small and slender and I was throwing everything at them from bigger topwater pencils uh, all the way down to just normal poppers. And the thing that just outfished everything else was the rebel jumping minnow. It was getting those hits every single cast where other things I was throwing multiple, multiple times and I just couldn't get those bass to commit. So that was one of those scenarios during the spring where it was really, really productive. Another scenario is when there's a lot of herring around, having something that's you know a medium-sized spook going across the surface of the water gets those bass extra uh, frost up to hit it. And uh, I find that the rebel jumping minnow a lot of the time is my go-to in that scenario. Uh, and then this goes for the fall as well. Uh, one of my favorite times to fish this is in the fall. I remember fishing this fall during a peanut bunker blitz and I was in a little back bay harbor area and uh, the bass were blitzing pretty good and I was in probably knee deep water and there was hundreds of bass around. Uh, I was using this rebel jumping minnow and every single cast the bass were just coming up and exploding up onto the surface hitting it. Uh, it was a blast to fish this plug. Um, I had so much fun with it and uh, I'm really looking forward to this next season fishing more rebel jumping minnows in the spring. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways to kind of, you know, get back into the season fishing these lures. Uh, I use pr pretty light tackle when I'm fishing them as well and it's just a blast. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.